Great, awesome. Hi, everyone. And um, thanks to Brian and Shoshana for having me back. And even though this year is different, it's great to be part of this and to see you all. And I hope everyone is doing well. I'm going to show some data today from a survey that we at Edison Research have been conducting since 1998. It's the longest running survey of digital behavior in America called the Infinite Dial. I will be showing lots of graphs and data, so I will pause my webcam. I'm going to share the PowerPoint. I'll pause my webcam. So if you want to maximize the screen real estate for all the numbers, Shared. Okay. Um, but first, just a brief overview of the study. So as I mentioned, the infinite dial has been tracking since 1998, and we saw from the video that it covers a wide range of topics such as mobile behaviors, internet audio, podcasting, social media, smart speakers, and more. For the 2020 study, Edison Research conducted over 1,500 telephone interviews with Americans age 12 plus and weighted the data to reflect the U.S. population. The study was conducted in January and February of this year, so it captured behaviors prior to the pandemic, which is good for preserving the year-over-year -year tracking of the data that we have. Um, we've since conducted and released other data measuring media behaviors during the pandemic, but that's not what we're going to cover in this talk today. And I won't have time today to review everything this year's report uncovered, so I'm going to focus on the changes we've seen in the audio landscape. Let's start with the ownership of devices people use to consume audio. The orange bar here is the 2020 data. The dark blue is the 2019 and the light blue is 2018. And you can see smartphone ownership has remained steady over the past few years. Tablet ownership has Did you find the key? plateaued a bit. Um, and ownership of smart watches has remained at 17% in 2019 and 2020. Smart speakers, however, ha uh, continue to increase through 2020 with 27% of Americans 12 plus, or about 76 million people owning a smart speaker. All of these devices, of course, allow us to consume audio and music. And as these devices change, so do the ways in which we consume audio and music. Now we know that traditional radio is declining in households. And when asked about ownership of radios in the household, our study shows that radio as the hardware is declining. In 2008, Americans age 12 plus had an average of three radios in their homes. Today, that's down to 1.5, with nearly one third of Americans 12 plus reporting zero radios in their household in 2020. Now, as radios are declining in homes over the years, the number of smart speakers is increasing. In 2018, 33% of smart speaker owners owned two or more devices. And in 2020, 55% of smart speaker owners owned two or more devices. And the average number of devices per owner increased to 2.2. And nearly a third have three or more of these devices. It's very likely that smart speakers are replacing radios as the device people use to listen to audio and music in their households. And in addition to the growing number of people owning smart speakers, the number of units they own is also increasing. 
And while I know we've um, emphasized the decline in radio here, particularly in home, radio is still the leader in cars. AM FM radio is the platform more people listen to in car, holding steady there over the years, followed by owned music, which saw a jump from 2019 to 2020 from 45 to 48%. CD player has been declining year over year, and online radio has increased along with podcasts and Sirius XM in the car with online radio seeing a large jump from 28% in 2018 and 2019 to 33% in 2020. Note that these numbers are among those age 18 plus who have driven or ridden in a car in the last month, and recall that the study was fielded in January and February of this year prior to the pandemic restrictions, which have resulted in far less in-car activity for many of us. AMFM also continues to dominate as the platform used most in the car, even though it has decreased a bit over the years. Owned music saw a jump in 2020 from 15 to 20%, which can possibly be attributed to people considering a, a playlist services such as Spotify, Spotify Premium as their owned music and maybe confusing those two things a little bit. 11% report listening to online audio most in car, which has held steady over the past few years. And so while AM FM is still dominant in the car, we are seeing other platforms have a footprint here and the car has a lot of potential for growth in digital audio. In fact, more than two in five Americans age 12 plus report ever listening to online audio in a car through a cell phone, a number that has steadily increased over the years. Online audio is defined as streams of AM FM radio stations or listening to streaming audio content only available on the internet. So let's look now at online audio everywhere, not just in car. The people who listen to online audio on a monthly basis continues to increase with about 68% of Americans or about 192 million people listening to online audio monthly. Weekly listening to online audio is holding steady at 60% or 169 million Americans 12 plus. And those who listen to online audio weekly are listening for an average of 15 hours and 12 minutes per week. This is down a bit from 2019, which was a significant jump up from 2018, but over 15 hours a week is still a significant amount of time spent listening. As for brands, this year, there was a tie in monthly audio listening, the orange bars here, with 25% of Americans 12 plus listening to Pandora and 25% listening to Spotify in the last month. And another interesting story here is when we look at the trending, again, the light blues 2018 and the dark blues 2019, we see that Spotify has grown from 20% in 2018 to 25% of Americans 12 plus today. And Amazon Music has gone from 9% in 2018 to 14% in 2020 due to the growth of smart speakers and in particular the Amazon Echo devices, certainly driving an increase in consumption to Amazon Music. More on that shortly. But first, looking at the weekly listening, Spotify now leads among online, online audio brands listened to in the last week after the year over year growth you can see here with Pandora in second for weekly online audio listening. And again, we see Amazon Music with a significant increase over the years from 6% in 2018 to 10% weekly in 2020. And looking at the brands used weekly by age, we can see that the growth in Spotify is attributed to the younger generations. Spotify jumps out even farther ahead among 12 to 34s, which is the pink bar, and SoundCloud has a foot among the younger demo here as well, coming in fourth among 12 to 34s. When we ask people what online audio service they listen to most often, 28% say Spotify and 24% say Pandora. So those together uh, take a little more than half the market of audio brand use most often. And 8% say Amazon Music is the brand they use most often. So um, but when we look at this among smart speaker owners, that number nearly doubles to 15% who say that Amazon Music is the online audio brand they use most often. So smart speaker ownership certainly does change behavior and notably audio listening behavior. And with the increasing number of these devices owned, there's an increased opportunity to produce audio for these environments. And finally, shifting from the hardware to the software, 
We asked people on which devices they access voice assistant services, such as Alexa, Google Assistant, or Siri. The smartphone is at the top here, which is representative of the sheer ownership of smartphones. But the interesting thing here is that 62% of people say they're using any voice operated personal assistant. That's more than six in 10 Americans. And so it's important for content producers to make sure that their content is easily accessible via voice. So before I wrap up, I, I just wanna show two slides from one of our other studies. This is from a subscription study called Share of Ear, which tracks audio listening of Americans during a 24 hour period using an audio listening diary. This graph gives a great overview of the audio landscape as a whole, showing the share of each audio platform. So the donut shape here represents the total amount of time Americans age 13 plus spend with audio in a typical day, which is about four hours. And the different color slices show how much of that time is spent with each platform. So 44% of time spent listening to audio is to AM FM radio, 17% of time to streaming audio pure plays, 11% to owned music, et cetera. And when we look at this share of time spent listening to music, we can see how the share shifts with AM FM dropping to 40% from 44% on the previous slide and that drop in AM FM listening spreading out instead to increases in streaming owned music and music on YouTube. So here's a quick recap of the key points from today. Um, but audio is continuously changing. We're thankful to our sponsors whose partnership allows us to continue conducting this research and tracking the changes year after year. We have so much more data on this. I feel like I flew through this, it's a lot of numbers, um, but please visit edisonresearch.com if you're interested in this sort of thing or email info at edisonresearch.com, that comes to me. Let us know if I can help answer any questions, explain any of this any further, um, or any other data that we can possibly provide. Cool, well that's awesome. I mean, you're always awesome every time. So let's pull this down off the screen. And then do we have any questions for Laura before we go to the next session? Is that Ian? Hold on, I'm trying to unmute Ian here. I think it worked. I, I'm curious, I, I do think the, about smart speakers, I guess, uh, and, and how they're changing radio. I mean, I, I, I just, in my own household, we have one. I don't like it. I think it's always listening to me. Uh, but uh, I have noticed that my wife will now listen to radio. Uh, and it's a radio from all over the country. And she just has, she doesn't have to like, turn, find the, all the equipment. And, and it's really been a, a blooming of radio listening in our household. Is that something you're finding as well? Yeah, it's funny. Um, we have we, we do extensive research on um, smart speakers. We have a whole another report that we've also released that uh, called the Smart Audio Report. But um, yeah, it's almost as if so you saw the decline in radios, but the increase in smart speakers, and it's almost like families are gathering around a device listening to radio again, as in the past. It's, it's sort of the same content or similar content, but it's a different device. <laughs> Oh, any other questions before we go? We go before we go to Ian. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much again. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. You're always such a pleasure to have involved. Thank you so really much. Love the actual data that really shows where this is all going. This is really valuable and part of why people come up, come to our show. So thank you. Thank Larry and thank everyone and really appreciate it. Will do. Thank you.